154,995. That is the number of people that die every day. That's over 56 million people a year, yet you and I are still here today. Right now, we made it. We've been promoted, so where's the celebration? Well, I'm not sure we want that answer. See, humanity is sick. It's diagnosed with a cancer, and that cancer has a name, and it's called comfort. It steals our dreams, robs us of our joy, stunts our growth and keeps our men like boys, yet it's what this world demands of us. Fall in line, go to school, get a job and pay taxes, buy a house and a car and a nice memory foam mattress so you can learn all the personal, intimate details of your favorite actor or actress and become a political expert in every election season and take a picture of your food and then a selfie and post it for no reason. Never try too hard at anything, just enough to scrape by. Then get married, have some kids, pay your bills and someday die. You see, the reason we never experience God's best is because we've been conditioned to settle for less. With famous phrases like, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. And don't get your hopes up or you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Think realistically, it's always better to play it safe. It is these things that rob people of their need to have faith. You see, comfort doesn't require the need for anything higher than what you can control. You don't need to have a God to take hold, so you got it covered, comfy in your little bubble, staying far away from the danger zone and running from every sign of trouble, but deep down inside there's a feeling that you can't escape if you try because you know there's a God, and he's calling you to something bigger, something more, a dream, crafted and written on your heart by the hand of God and embedded into your DNA. And if every DNA molecule in your body were unwound and set end to end, it would stretch 10 billion miles. We couldn't travel that distance in 100 million years, yet we still can't escape the six inches between our ears. Wake up. God is calling us higher. Complacency is the enemy of your destiny. We were never meant to be some entity that stifles its own growth. You're either growing or you're dying, but you can't do both. A tree grows to its fullest potential and never stops halfway. But human beings hit a comfort zone, chill out, and decide to stay. But not you. You are his handiwork, his masterpiece, created to go beyond. His spirit lives inside of you and his word is bond. You can take it to the bank and cash it. It's the same power that raised Jesus from the casket, so what are you going to do with it? They say the graveyard is wealthy for the dreams and talents they hold never having been used. But today, for the glory of God, we can choose to believe bigger, dream bigger, and grind bigger. For he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever ask or think according to his power that is at work in us. Yes, it is at work, but are you? It is time to start grinding in our homes and in our churches, in our schools and our communities, living out these red lettered verses. If we really believed we served the God who could crush any obstacle, we wouldn't look at any task that he calls us to as impossible. We must reach higher and allow him to breathe life into a dream, into a marriage, a child, a church, a business, or a team. He is that vital element. He is the missing ingredient. He is that secret sauce who gives direction to all who are lost. And he's calling you right now, you, in this moment, to take a stand and allow him to use you as a tool in his hand to enact change in this world one person at a time it is time to go beyond with our grind go beyond our limitations and smash every excuse for our souls have been set free by the spirit of truth you are his creation his masterpiece and image bearer of Christ go beyond your limitations and leave a mark with your life